I was sitting here in between classes and um, I just wanted to talk to you guys openly and candidly about my experience with anxiety disorder. And um, I really like that people seem to have been putting up videos about it and um, back when I was dealing with it really badly in like 2009, um, I couldn't, there weren't that many videos out there and it seemed like kind of a taboo subject, which is weird considering how many people at one point or another are affected by um, either a panic attack or, you know, any of the symptoms that go along with it. They don't have to have the full-blown, like, disorder. So, um, I am going to link Zoe's video down in my description box. She goes over not just her experience with it, but like the symptoms and the types. And, um, but my video is just going to focus on what kind of helped me through it and what, um, I feel like my, the shoulders on this jacket are really poofy when I sit like this. But, um, what helped me with it and just my experience. So, um, you know, like people have said, no one likes talking about it, and I certainly don't, but I feel like it'll be worth it if it helps people, and I think, personally, I wish I had seen a video, like any ones that have been coming out within the last week, um, I think it would have helped me a lot back when I was dealing with it, so I hope this helps some of you guys, and let's just get right into it. So, um, back in second grade when I was like seven, um, six or seven? No, seven. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think it started off as a separation anxiety. Um, I don't know what triggered it. I'm too young. I was too young to remember. But, um, all of a sudden I remember I just couldn't go to school. Like, I didn't want to leave my mom, especially my mom, but both of my parents. I just didn't want to be left alone. I didn't want to be left alone with my grandma, my grandpa, like, no one. Except my, anyone? No one? Bad, bad grammar, but I didn't want to be left alone with anyone except my mom or dad. And, um, you know, that's, that's not normal to that extent, that you can't go to school, you can't do anything. So, um, I don't think that lasted that long. It might have lasted like five months, um, but... I dropped out of ballet, which I regret to this day. Um, I really wish I had stuck with it. And um, I dropped out of gymnastics. And I, I just, I couldn't go over to friends' houses. Um, and that was kind of the start of when people started inviting me over to have sleepovers and stuff. I couldn't do that. And uh, I don't know how, what exactly helped me with it. Because I don't think, I wasn't put on medication. I was too young. Um, and, you know, especially when you're seven, it's really hard to express yourself and let people know what you're feeling. So, I think I just got over it myself. I think I got fed up enough with, like, seeing how upset it made my parents because they didn't know what to do. And, um, you know, my friend at school wasn't, you know, she didn't know what was going on and it was kind of embarrassed, like, I was embarrassed by what was going on because I didn't know what was going on. So I felt bad for her, and, you know, just every it was like the biggest talk of my whole second grade class. Like, not just my class, but like all the second graders at my school. It was like the biggest deal, like, where's Emma? And so, um, that was just, it was just really hard, because it was, it was hard to be the talk of the school. And then, um, eventually, I remember I just went back. I don't remember how exactly, but one day, I remember I just went back. So that, that was my first, like, bout with it, I guess. And then, three years later, I was in fifth grade, and, um, it came back really badly. And I, I, like I said, I don't know exactly what triggered it, um, but I'm thinking because in second grade, I had friends in, in kindergarten and first grade. In second grade, I didn't have my best friends in that class with me, and so... I'm wondering if that's part of what what triggered it. And then in third grade and fourth grade, I had one of my best friends in my class with me. But in fifth grade, I didn't. And so again, I didn't have any friends in that class, which seems like a really weird thing to trigger it. 
but I don't know, it's just a similarity I noticed. Um, so yeah, three years later, fifth grade, um, I just, like, shut down. I, I stopped doing, um, community theater, which I was very involved in, um, from, like, first grade to fifth grade. I was, I was in shows every, every day. Like, <laughs> I would, I would audition for every single show that was being there, that was being played there. And, um, I stopped acting classes, I stopped my voice class, I stopped my dance classes, and it just got to the point where, um, I just, like, I was fed up with myself, and my parents were upset that this was happening to me again, and, um, but it wasn't, <laughs> that guy's looking at me weirdly, I'm just talking to my steering wheel, um, it wasn't separation anxiety, it was just overall anxiety, and for some reason, like, I remember, I just woke up, woke up one morning, and, um, I had a tight chest, and my heart rate, my heart was racing, and, um, I just couldn't go. Like, to me, like, going to school felt like the worst thing ever, and I felt really, really alone. Which is weird, because, you know, in elementary school, you have so many recesses and stuff, it's not like I didn't see my friends. Um, and it's not like my parents had long hours, they're teachers, so they got home, like, around the same time that, you know, high schools and middle schools get out. Um, so they're home by, like, 3.30. Um, I don't know what it was exactly, but I remember I started going to a, um, I went to a therapist, which she did absolutely nothing for me. And to me, like, talk therapy only works if you're a talkative person, and I was not, I'm not, I am still not a talkative person, like, it's really weird that I don't mind talking to a camera, but I prefer not to talk to people I don't know, and that's just my nature, um, I mean, I will talk to people I don't know, obviously, but, um, I'd rather not, and so, it was just really hard because, like, I didn't know how to articulate what I was feeling, and so it just did nothing, um, and so I went to, another, I went to a psychiatrist, and I believe it was then in fifth grade, I was, I think I was ten, I was put on Zoloft, um, because she says I was depressed, and, um, I remember we just worked with, like, um, increment, in, like, increments, so, um, what is that called? Something conditioning. Oh, I should know this. I'm taking psychology right now. That's bad. I need to study that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, I would go, I would get in the car, and I would go and just stand in the parking lot, and then go home. And then the next day, I would get in the car, and, well, maybe, like, the next week, I would get in the car, and I would spend whole days in the principal's office, because the principal of my elementary school was really, really nice. She was actually a different one than the one that was there in second grade, but they were both really helpful. And, um... And then eventually, I remember one day, well, actually, just, like, a, a memory I have, I don't know how close I was, like, the timeline for this memory, but I remember being outside of my class, my classroom, with my fifth grade teacher, and she was told what was going on and everything. And I remember her trying to get me to go in the door, like, to class, and class has already started, and that's, okay, I'll talk about that later. I can't get sidetracked right now, or else I'm going to forget everything. But, um, and I remember her trying to get me to go in, and I was like, no, I don't want to go. And I don't want to go is, like, my most used phrase from those years. Like, that's all I said. Because I was just, like, shutting everything out. It's like, oh, no, I don't want to go to that. Oh, no, I don't want to go to that. And, um, and so, I don't know. And it was, it was horrible. I was gone, I think, half the year. And, you know, in fifth grade, like, it's not that hard to miss school, and, um, but still, like, I was put on, I don't know what that's called. It's not independent, it's like the elementary school version of independent study, um, because I missed so many days, you know, and it's like a state thing that you go to school. Um, and so, yeah, and eventually I remember I just went, but for the first, like, three weeks that I started going again, I absolutely hated it. And, um... I just felt, like, weird, you know, like, I felt like 
no one understood. And I know a lot of anxiety stuff happens when you're older, like in your tweens to your teens to the young adult. And so, you know, I was fairly young, and so I didn't know anyone at my school my age that had that kind of problem. And so I felt so alone, and I felt so just disconnected from everything, um, and I've been gone so long. So, I was really bad. And um, I ended up, I finished out the school year. Like I said, I, I don't know how I got over it. All of a sudden, like, I was just fed up with myself, again, I think, in second grade and in fifth grade. I was just so fed up with myself that I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go. Like, I was so pissed at myself, at my psychiatrist and my therapist and everyone treating me, well, in my head, I thought, they were treating me like I was crazy. And so, um, you know, looking back, they were just doing their job, but, um, so I think I just pissed myself off enough that I just went. And, um, I feel like once you go, once I went... Like, once I was sitting there in class, I was, like, somewhat proud of myself, but also it was just, like, normal. You know? Like, if you just fight those things in your head that tell you not to go and you just go. I, I think I lasted the whole day. The first day I went back, I think I lasted the entire day. Um, and so, yeah. Um, I think I had my friend start a rumor that I had switched schools for a while. Um, and I don't regret that. I don't regret not telling people, and I don't regret lying to people. It's not like I ever see them anymore. Um, it would have been really bad for me to have to answer a bunch of questions about where I was, because I was just not in a place to talk about it. <sighs> so, that went away. And then, it's really windy outside. Um, and then, which was odd, because it was three years from second to fifth grade, I skipped sixth grade, um, I don't know how much that decision affected, was affected by my anxiety problems. Um, by the way, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. Um, I don't know how much, like I said, like skipping sixth grade, how much my anxiety like factored into that decision. Um, I don't really, they wouldn't tell me. Like my parents had this meeting with the principal and the principal of my middle school um, that I was going to go to was a junior high, because it was 7th and 8th grade. Um, and I don't know really how it happened. I think part of it, not to, like, because whenever I tell people I skipped a grade, they're like, oh, you must be so smart. That's not how I saw it, although I was kind of bored in class. I'm not saying I'm a super brilliant person, but when I was little, like, I, used, I was at a higher reading level than the kids my age, and um, I don't know. And so, anyway, I skipped 6th grade. I went to 7th grade and I was fine because my friends that I had, um, a lot of my friends were actually a year older than me. So I had two friends and one moved away. So by the time I was in 5th grade, I only had one friend who was my age in my same grade level. And all the other ones were a grade ahead of me. So in 7th grade, um, everything was fine. I, I had my friends that I hadn't gone to school with yet because they were always a grade ahead of me. I had them in my same grade. Um, and I went to a junior high that my parents used to teach at, so the teachers were kind of friends of the family, and I'd spent time there before I went there, you know, helping my dad in his classroom and whatnot, and so 7th and 8th grade, seriously, they're probably one of the best years of my life, like, they were amazing, um, I really liked it, and then, so if you go 5th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, three years later, I don't know why this is a pattern, but in ninth grade is when just something else clicked, and I just, it was the worst, like, from second grade to fifth grade to ninth grade, it gets, it got worse and worse, and in ninth grade, this was 2009, I, um, I remember the, the, the fall semester of ninth grade, I was fine, um, you know, I kind of liked high school, it was, yeah, eh, um, cause I had such great years at junior high that it was like, oh, I miss it. And I still miss junior high, to be honest. But, um, then the spring of ninth grade, it's kind of, I can see the pattern, is I went, I had no friends in my classes. And in the fall, I had a lot of friends that just happened to be in my classes. In the spring, I didn't. And I had absolutely no one in my PE class, which I hated, um... And I just felt so awkward. Like, I had just, like, the awkward, where you feel awkward in your body. 
I had that kind of thing from like 8th grade to 9th, 8th and 9th grade, definitely. So I f just felt really uncomfortable with myself. I'm 5'10", I think. Um, and so in 9th grade, you know, the boys weren't, the boys were shorter than me, and I just felt really weird. I wasn't 5'10", I was like 5'8 in 9th grade, but, um, it was just a really awkward time, and so, you know, I was insecure, and I had no friends in my classes, and my drama class that I loved, I took drama 1 in freshman year, in the fall. I was in drama 2, and I just didn't like that class for some reason. And I had no friends, I had a sort of a friend, who now she's one of my best friends, but, um, I just... I don't know, like, it was just, it was just weird, and it was kind of like the same situation that I was put in in fifth grade and in second grade, and I think fifth grade and second grade, they are both in the spring. Um, so the fall of freshman year, I remember around Halloween, like, when I would get sick, like, not like sick sick, but just like, I would have a fever, like, I get a bunch of, I get a lot of viruses, like, f like, respiratory stuff, um, I wouldn't want to go to school, and it was like an irrational fear of not feeling well at school. And so I remember a couple days around Halloween, um, freshman year, I didn't go to school. And I played it off as I was sick, because I was sick, but it was more than that. And I didn't let on that it was more than that. That, like, I physic like I mentally did not want to go to school. Um, and then, you know, December, Christmas break. And then January, February, I think it was March. Yeah, March of ninth grade in the spring. Um, I... I just stopped going. 